in September 1666, London burned. After five days, the fire was mostly out. More than 13,000 houses burnt down in the Great Fire of London. The old St Paul's Cathedral was just one of the famous London landmarks that was destroyed. Churches, shops and schools were gone too. Rebuilding the city would be a huge task and the new London needed to fix the problems of the old city to make sure another fire like this couldn't happen. Houses in London were often built of wood and jutted out very close to each other, which meant they burned very easily. So the new buildings would have to be made of brick and stone. Strict rules were made about the size and shape of the new houses. Where it was possible, narrow streets were sometimes made wider. In the 17th century, London didn't have a big fire brigade like today. The city was divided into areas called parishes. Each parish kept buckets, hooks and axes, and local people were supposed to work together to stop the fires. After the Great Fire, new rules were made to make sure every parish had more equipment. One of the men chosen to take charge of rebuilding London was Christopher Wren. He was an architect who designed buildings. He planned many of London's new churches, including a new St Paul's Cathedral. While there were lots of exciting ideas for transforming London, most of the grand plans would have cost too much money. There wasn't time to change where the streets were or how the city worked. People needed their homes, businesses and their schools to be rebuilt quickly. So they started rebuilding where they had lived before. Today, many of the streets in the City of London have the same names and are in the same places as before the fire. London looked very different after the fire, and since then it has changed and keeps changing and growing. Today, London is over 100 times bigger than it was before the fire, and 9 million people live there. <laughs>